Moving on to the town of 2,000 people uh, is making international news as they refuse to give up their fight against McDonald's. Tacoma. It's a quiet little town at the foothills of a national park not too far from Melbourne. That is, it was until two years ago when McDonald's decided to set up shop on the main strip. Since then, they've become world-renowned for making a whole lot of noise. First, the locals wrote more than a thousand letters protesting the fast food chain. The council listened and voted down the proposal. But it was overturned by the state civil tribunal. And that's when they took to singing. French revolutionary style. They took their battle to McDonald's Australia headquarters in Sydney, but were told plenty of people in Tacoma support the project. They tried to physically block the way and, and succeeded in delaying things for a while. But they were taken to court, which ruled they had to stay away. But they just won't give up. They're now parked outside McDonald's international headquarters in Chicago. We've had folks that have been assaulted by your private security. We need you to start behaving responsibly. So now that they're a global story, will McDonald's cave in to the very loud voices of small town Tacoma? How are you feeling, Pete? This has been your baby, this story. As long as I can remember, you have been across this. I feel like a proud papa today, uh, Carrie. <laughs> it seems like only yesterday that I was introducing this piece of vision. No Maccas, no Maccas, no, not here in Tacoma, our beautiful home. No. I wouldn't cry. <laughs> Charlie. Uh, thanks, Pete. Uh, Gary Muratore is in Chicago, hell of a town, for no McDonald's Tacoma. Gary, you've presented the petition of 97,000 signatures to McDonald's. Where to from here? Well, we keep uh, fighting the cause, um, as we'd like to say. Um, we're a little bit disappointed today. Um, we asked them to, to come out. They sent down a, a PR flak and a uh, gentleman that said he was from corporate responsibility. We said, uh, you know, why are you suing people? And they turned around and they told us that they're suing us for our safety, which was very, very strange. So from here, we keep up the petition. Uh, we had this on the top of the box today, uh, 97,000. It's nearly 99,000 now. Um, the fight just goes on. They do have the legal authority to build there, though. So if they don't budge, I mean, at what point will you guys give up? We won't give up. They may have the legal authority, they don't have the ethical authority. They should have listened. In the last five years around Australia, McDonald's have uh, basically tried to overturn de democratic councils on about 40 occasions. They think if they can scare councils into planning authorities, they'll go away because you know, councils don't want to use ratepayers' money running a legal battle. So I think it's an unethical way to approach a business. If, if a town says, for the right reasons, and this is all about inappropriate development, we don't want it, then we shouldn't get it. Are you worried now, though, that if you pop into a McDonald's, that Ronald McDonald might spit in your Big Mac? <laughs> that's, that, that's a possibility. There's not much chance that I'm going to McDonald's. I would have said maybe six weeks ago, you know, when this is over, I may go back and get a coffee one day, but this is a company that has spied on people, that have used private detectives to, to follow us and take notes. They've got no ethics. Uh, I'll never be going back there. And I'll tell you, a lot of people have the same opinion. Well, Gary, good luck with the fight from here, and uh, thanks for speaking to us tonight. Thanks, Charlie. Lovely to speak to you. Yeah, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a delicate issue because everyone loves Tacoma. It's even a the place. It's a beautiful place. And even the big wigs in Chicago at Macca's HQ, they love Tacoma as well. As early as this morning, we received emails from people in Tacoma who are welcoming the McDonald's there and who say, please go forward with the restaurant. We want this restaurant in our town. And that the folks that are visiting here are a very vocal minority. So we know that they're vocal, we know that they're very organized, and they care about their town. And I think that's the one thing that we actually have in common because we care about their town too. We care about it because we believe we can make some sweet, sweet cash there. <laughs> <laughs> has she been to Tacoma? Has she seen it? I'm Did not sure if she has. She's received an email this morning about it. They got it. one email, yes. Yeah, yes. I think she's received more emails about Viagra uh, <laughs> than she has about saving I would love to see, the they, they had 99,000 signatures, which I had like every signature in a box. I would like to see her come out and wave the one email around. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got some for Viagra. Uh, take a break. Back in a tick. Coming up.